tail to pinkish. It looks uniform and no lesions. And the color is even, good temperature, slightly warm, no moisture. Um, and the texture is smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and mix those with popcorn and do um, your skin trigger. Okay, no tinting, it goes right back, that's good. Can I go ahead and look at your nails? Looks like they are uniform and there is no clubbing. And they are even and oval and pinkish colored. And I'm gonna go ahead and assess your capillary refill. All right, it only takes about one second to come back, so that looks great. And next we're gonna assess your eyes and I'm gonna do the confrontation test. So what I'm gonna have you do is cover your eye and your knee and then just tell me when you can see this index finger. I can see it. Do you see it? I see it. Okay, keep that eye covered. I'm gonna do it from the other side. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, go ahead and switch eyes for me. that eye covered. I'm going to do it from the other side. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, great job. So now I'm going to look at some of the structures of your eye and I'm going to go ahead and look at the cornea. So you're going to have a little flashlight in your eyes. All right, the cornea is smooth. Nothing abnormal. And then your conjunctiva. Let's go ahead and look in there. See there it's pinkish, no red or inflammation. Your lacrimal, lacrimal duct doesn't have any inflammation. And then the sclera is a china white. And the iris, you have hazel eyes and they're all uniform skin color. And your pupils are black. And the size of your pupil is about a three. So those look great. Next, we're gonna do your corneal light reflex just to make sure the light is in the same spot on your eye when I shine it on there. Good. Great, it is, in, it is bilateral, symmetrical bilaterally. And next, we're gonna test your, the cardinal position. So I'm gonna move this pin light and I want your, don't move your face, just move your eyes with it, okay? are moving with the pen that looks great and next we're gonna look at your pupils response to light so I'm gonna flash this light in your eyes and just see um, when they contract and shrink okay in the other eye okay when I shine the light in one eye the other eye constricts as well which is great okay next we're going to do the accommodation test and so what I'm gonna have you do is tell you to focus on this pen light and then to, when I say wall, focus on the wall. When I say pen, focus on the pen, okay? Go ahead and focus on the pen and wall. Pen and wall. Pen and wall. All right, her eyes dilate and constrict appropriately when she focuses on something close up and then focuses on something far away. Next, we're going to Look at your ears. Are you having any tenderness or pain? No. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is something called the whisper test, and I'm gonna whisper a word in each ear and go ahead and tell me what you hear. Okay. Light. Body. Great job. Okay, I'm just gonna pull in different parts of your external ear and just tell me if you had any pain or tenderness. Doing okay? Yeah, no pain. Okay, great. Next, we're gonna use the otoscope and look in your ear. So I've put a new cover on here and the light would ideally be working, but I'm gonna keep my hand in between this and just to make sure that if you jerk away, um, this doesn't go with you. I'm gonna pull up on her ear. I might have you turn just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. So 
insert it. And I can see the tympanic membrane is gray and pearly, and I can also see the cone of light, which is a great sign. We have a little bit of wax, but that is normal. And I can change this so that I don't cross contaminate between the ears. Fluff on the ear. All right. The tympanic membrane on that side also looks gray and pearly, and I can see the cone of light. And you also have a little bit of wax in that ear, but that is perfectly normal. Okay, next I'm just going to look at some aspects of your face. So we're going to check the symmetry first. It appears to be symmetrical, but I'm going to have you do a couple different things to test that. So go ahead and raise your eyebrows. Now smile really big and puff out your cheeks. Great, face is symmetrical bilaterally. Um, next I'm going to just palpate um, your scalp and your hair, so it might just feel like a little bit of a massage. All right, I don't feel any lesions. Normos, normos, fair found, I guess. <laughs> and your hair is a brown color, which is a great color for the ethnicity that she is. And it feels, um, this texture feels smooth and it feels um, thick. And I'm just going to touch different parts of your face and um, your sinus areas and just tell me if you feel any pain or tenderness. You okay? Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. Um, next we're going to look at your TMJ and maxillary and so I'm going to go ahead and have you bite, open your mouth and bite down. Open your mouth and bite down. Okay, both of those are intact. So next thing I'm going to do is test different facial sensations. I'm going to use a tip toothpick and a cotton ball. So I want you to go ahead and tell me when you feel soft or sharp and tell me which part of your face you feel it on. So close your eyes. Soft forehead, forehead sharp, left cheek soft, right cheek soft. Right cheek sharp, left cheek sharp, soft chin, a uh, toothpick on the chin. <laughs> Great job. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is have you plug one of your nostrils and take a deep breath in and then switch. Okay, both mirrors are patent. Okay, now we're going to look at your mouth and throat. So. Lips do not appear cracked, they seem um, hydrated and um, a great shape. Go ahead and open your mouth. Teeth are straight and white. That indicates good nutritional status. Um, she has good oral hygiene. So go ahead and open your mouth. Gums are pink. Buccal mucosa is pink and no lesions. Tongue is pink and moist. Okay, go ahead and stick out your tongue and say, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, uvula is symmetrical and goes straight up the midline and back down when she says, ah. I'm gonna look at your tonsils. All right, they do look a little bit inflamed, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them a two plus, but they, they're um, a great pink color. Okay, next. Oh, I'm also, last thing I'm going to do is test your gag reflex. So I'm just going to put this in the back of your throat and it might just feel a little uncomfortable. Okay, your gag reflex is intact. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is palpate your lymph nodes just to make sure there aren't any abnormalities. Do not feel anything as of now. I'm just going to expose your clavicle a little bit, make sure there isn't any inflammation. Okay, I'm going to check your carotid pulse. The strength of it, I would give it a two, and if I were um, assessing for pulse, I would wait here for 30 seconds and multiply that by two. If her muscles are regular, I'd sit here for a full minute. I would not do both at the same time, but it is symmetrical bilaterally. 
So the, next, the last thing I'm going to do is test your range of motion and muscle strength. So go ahead and press against my hand, your cheek, other side, and shrug up. Great job. Thank you. Okay. I'm also going to take a look at your head and feel for your head or on yourself. I would, I would also have my gloves on and we'll have done hand hygiene prior to this. Um, I don't feel any divots, um, deviations, any um, indentions. His hair appears nice, clean, and groomed. No signs of thinning, shedding, hair loss of that nature. Um, I take a look at his arms. Like I said, his arms um, appear smooth. No signs of lesions, bumps. He does have tattoos and some scarring, but it's old. Um, I'm going to test his skin turgor. There's no tinting. I'm going to take a look at the bottom of his palms as well as the top. I can see another tattoo. His skin once again appears um, nice, even, and smooth. No discoloration. There's no clubbing in his fingers. I'm going to press on your nails um, just to test your capillary refill, which is um, how well um, your, your um, fingers receive blood and everything with less than three seconds, which is normal. There's no, like I said, there's no clubbing in his fingers, no discoloration in his nails. Everything appears nice, even, and groomed. Um, I'm also going to take a look at your neck if that's all right. I'm going to feel along here. Let me know if you know any tenderness or pain. So I would feel for lymph nodes here, nodes here, down along his neck, and along his clavicle, and down here. I didn't feel anything um, of note, no, no enlarged lymph nodes, um, nothing movable. Did any of that cause you pain? No. No? Okay. Lift up your neck. I also want to take a look at your trachea. It's nice and even on both sides. Swallow for me. I mean, up and down. Did anything cause you discomfort there? No enlarged thyroid. And I will be listening for, um, I'm going to listen to your carotid arteries on the side of your trachea. Normally, if there was any sort of um, blockage, it would create a whistling sound when I mm -hmm. listen to it. It's called a brew. So I'm going to just take a listen. No whistling, no bruit noted. Um, and I also want you to look to your left, your right, up and then down, chin touching your chest. Any discomfort, irritation, difficulty moving? No. No, okay. I'm gonna feel on the side of your jaw, um, open and close for me. I didn't feel any crepitus. Did you feel any discomfort or clicking? No. No, okay. Um, Oh, I also wanted to check the lymph nodes under your jaw. Once again, nothing movable, nothing that I can palpate. Um, I'm also going to take a look at the inside of your mouth, if that's okay. Um, I just want to make sure that the mucous membranes on the inside are intact, no um, irritation or anything like that. So go ahead and open them up. Go ahead. Your tonsils are even, no signs of irritation. Can you stick out your tongue for me? Tongue appears nice and smooth. Inner mucous membranes are, are nice, um, moist, pink, intact. Um, smile for me. Teeth appear even. Um, stick out your tongue one more time. Go up, down, and side to side. Nice movement. Have you been having any trouble um, chewing, swallowing? No. Nothing of that? Okay. Say light, tight, dynamite for me. Light, tight, dynamite. Awesome. Um... Actually, give me this tool one more time because I want to take a at, look at the inside of your nose, if that's okay. okay. Have you been having any difficulty breathing? Any out, um, issues um, with allergies, new nerves, congestion, nosebleeds, anything of that nature? No. Okay, cool. Um, his midline, the midline of his nose is nice and symmetrical. Lean back mm -hmm. for me. The inner membranes of his nose are nice and pink, no polyps, no, no deviation of his septum. And then close one side of your nails and I want you to breathe deep through the other. And then again over here. Any difficulty with that? No. All right, I'm also gonna feel around your sinuses um, above mm -hmm. your eyebrow and around here. Any of these tender? No. No? Any tap a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -mm. Is that no. tender? Okay, cool. Um, now I think I'm going to take a look 
with your eyes. Um, normally I would do a Snellen test, which would involve him standing 20 feet away, looking at a chart. And I would ask him to, lead, to read the smallest line that he could that was visible to him. And I would note um, his vision and write down the acuity. Um, I would also do a static finger wiggle where I imagine a bowl around you and I'm going to wiggle mm -hmm. my fingers. You tell me which one, I'm, which hand I'm wiggling. Mm -hmm. Top left, bottom right. Okay. Top right, bottom left. Okay. Awesome. I would also do a red kinetic target test, I believe it was called, um, where I would take a red pen and I would bring it in and it's another test to test acuity. Unfortunately, I don't have a red pen. Um, I'm also going to do a cover and cover where I cover your eyes and I'm just making, checking to see how your pupils react as well as if your um, eyes move abnormally. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm also going to do the six cardinal signs. So I want you to take a look at my finger and follow mm -hmm. it. Did any of that cause you any pain moving your eyes around? No? no. Okay, good. Um, I also want you to take a look at my finger as I bring it in. Good. Did that cause you any discomfort? No. Okay, good movement there. I'm going to shine a light in your eye because, eyes because I want to see how your pupils react to light. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to your right eye, your left, and then I'm going to move across. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice family reacted so far. All right, good. I'm also going to take my handy dandy device as well and I'm going to shine this light in your eye but I'm going to move in because I want to see if there's a red reflect reflective light in them. Okay. okay. going to actually have you, what am I going to do next? Your eyebrows are nice and symmetrical. Um, I'm gonna, just going to take a look at the inner lining of your eye. I'm going to pull down just a bit. Nice and pink. Scalera is white. No irritation. No good. Um, now I'm going to take a look at the inside of your ears real quick. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, back, and down. Take a look at the inside of your ear. I want to see if that membrane's nice and friendly, okay? Okay. If this bothers you at all or causes you any mm -hmm. sort of irritation, please let me know. Okay. I'm gonna go to the other side. Look down your back. Now I'm going to do a series of hearing exams with my tuning fork. Um, the first is called the Rhine. And basically, I'm going to hit my tuning fork. I'm going to place it on the bony prominence behind your ear. And I want you to tell me if you can hear it when I first make contact. And then once I want you also, I also want you to tell me when you stop hearing it, I'll bring it in closer. And I want you to tell me if you can hear the sound once again. Okay. Do I need to repeat those instructions? No. Okay. I'm turning this way. I'm going to do the Weber test and it's to make sure that you can hear equally on both sides. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit my tuning fork and place it on the top of your head. Okay. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Are they equal on both sides? Yeah, I hear it more on the right. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do a whisper test and basically mm -hmm. I'm going to um, lock one ear and I'm going to whisper on the other and I want you to repeat to me the phrases that I say. Deal. Okay. Right. C. 23. B. Good job. W. Four. J. J. Nice. All right. 
And that's the end of my examination. I will be writing up my notes and give you um, my interpretation of the results from this examination. Um, do you have any questions for now? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the patient's hair. His hair is even distributed throughout his whole scalp. I don't see any lesion. I don't, there's no odor or anything like that. Um, his scalp is um, even. Um, his skin is, appears um, healthy and moist. Um, okay. Can you um, raise your brows up? Okay, can you um, puff up your cheeks? Okay, and can you smile, frown, clench your teeth? Okay, so um, cranial nerve seven is intact. All right, so next I'm going to, um, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna palpate your scalp real quick, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you feel any tenderness or anything like that? No. All right. Um, so I'm just going to palpate your um, temporal arteries. Do you feel any um, tenderness or anything? No. All right. I'm going to palpate your TMJ. Open your mouth. Um, press your jaw. Move your jaw up and down. Side to side. So um, there's no preferences to your TMJ. All right. So um, I'm going to also assess for the sensory function and also motor function. Okay. Um, close your eyes and let me know where I touch your cheek. Which side? Right cheek. Okay. Right cheek. Okay, all right, perfect. So cranial nerve five is intact, right? Okay, so um, Next, I'm going to just um, look at your brows. So your brows are even, evenly distributed, the hair. Um, you have full brows. I don't see any um, deformities or like lesions or anything like that. Can you close your eyes? Your lids um, look healthy and moist and pink. Um, I don't see any lid lag or ketosis or anything like that. Um, can you open your eyes? So your sclera is um, white and bright. I don't see any um, redness or hemorrhage or anything like that. Um, can you pull down your lower lids? So for your conjunctivus, uh, it's um, pink and moist. Um, I don't see any lesions either or any hemorrhage. Okay, you can let go. Um, and let's see, is it okay if I, pal if I palpate um, your brows yeah. and Do you feel any tenderness? No. Okay. So for your lacrimal gland, do you feel any tenderness? No. All right. I'm going to palpate the front guy. Do you feel any tenderness? No. Okay. All right. So um, next, I'm going to um, assess your, your nose. Uh, so your nose um, appears symmetrical. Um, can you lift your head up? All right. So um, for your nostril, the symptom appears to be straight. Your muco, um, your nasal mucosa appears pink and healthy. Um, I don't see any deviation or anything like that. Um, I just want you to um, close one of your nares, blow out from the other side, and then. Do that with the opposite nares. Okay, so both nares is patent. Um, I would like you to smell this and let me know what sense it is. Rose. All right, thank you. So your cranial nerve one olfactory is intact. Okay. Um, so um, with your eyes, uh, I just want to go over this real quick before we move forward to your um, smell. Mm -hmm. So um, for your eyes, can you please um, let me know once you see my hands, it's going to be a consultation test. No. Okay. No. All right. So can you go ahead and um, read line eight? Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and close your right side. Okay. 
and read from right to left and hold this for three inches away. Am I correct? C E T O P F E D. Okay, now um, cover the other side of the eye and then um, read from left to right. D E F P O T E C. All right, so your visual acuity is 20 over 20 bilaterally. All right. Okay, so um, your um, uh, cranial nerve 2 is intact. All right. Uh, so what I want you to do is look at this pen mm -hmm. and look past my shoulder. Look at this pen again and look past my shoulder. Okay, so this is our combination test. So next I'm going to check your pupils. The right, consensual, the right, consensual, the right, consensual, the right, consensual. Um, all right, so now um, just look at the pen. Don't move your head or anything. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check for your corneal reflex. All right, so um, both of your eyes react um, bilaterally to Perla. Um, your cranial nerve um, three, four, and six is intact. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, can you go ahead and um, open your mouth? All right, so um, all right. So your um, buccal mucosa is pink and moist. Your uh, Stenson duct and Wolfe's duct is um, moist and um, intact. Um, your teeth, you have all your teeth. It's white and straight. Um, your gums is bright and pink um, and moist as well. Um, I see your tonsils back there. It's even both bilaterally. Um, it looks moist as well. And go ahead and say ah. Uh, and your ogoba. Um, it raises evenly as well. Um, it's intact. There's no lesions or anything. Um, I don't see any signs of dental caries or anything like that. No gingivitis or anything like that. Your lips appear pink and moist. Um, okay, uh, go ahead and lift your tongue up against the fish, okay, and then move side to side, okay, side to side. All right, so, um, cranial nerve 12 is intact, all right, go ahead and swallow. All right, so cranial nerve 9 and 10 is intact, all right, um, okay, and your lips appear even, moist, and healthy. Okay, so I'll put this here. All right. And then um, for your nose, I'm just going to palpate real quick. Mm -hmm. This one's head has the tonsil sinus. Yeah. The maxillary sinus. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, um, I mentioned earlier the cranial nerve 5 is also intact. So now I'm going to look at your ears. Your ears appear to be both even. Um, they match you symmetrically on your um, side of your head, uh, on the side, but they're both symmetrical. Um, I'm just going to uh, palpate your article. Do you feel any tenderness? No. What about the tragus? No. Okay. And what about the um, the um, bony culture. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, go ahead and put your hand over this ear, cover it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to whisper a few words and I want you to repeat after me. Okay. All right. So A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. And then you got your opposite ear. Um, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. So um, cranial nerve eight. Is intact. All right. So um, next, I'm gonna um, check for cranial nerve eleven. So go ahead and move your um, head forward, forward and back, forward and back, side to side. Okay. All right. So lift your shoulders up. All right. Relax. 
cranial nerve and lemon is intact. So next, I'm gonna um, palpate your lymph nodes, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Pre-auricular, post-auricular, um, occipital, um, ocellar, submandibular, submental, you feel any tenderness or anything like yeah. that? Um, uh, superficial clavicular, posterior clavicular, and supra um, clavicular. Okay. You feel any tenderness? Yeah. Raise your shoulders up. Okay, and relax. Okay. All right. So for the lymph nodes, um, 